Have you heard of UV, the brand new Python package manager and project manager? It's designed to be extremely fast, so I thought let's check it out and see how it compares to some traditional package managers like pip. Now, UV is a little bit different to some of the traditional package managers that we're all familiar with. UV is written in Rust and it's designed to be extremely quick because of this. Not only does UV install your packages, you can also manage your virtual environments with UV, meaning the whole experience of dependency management is handled by one tool. So let's check out how it works and see if it really is better. Now UV is actually pre-installed with the default Docker image that we use for Kestra. So if you're using the Python script task, for example, using a Docker task runner, so you can just start using it straight away in the before command section. But if you decide to use a process task runner, we can install it simply by using pip here. And I'm just gonna output the logs to dev slash null so it doesn't clutter up the logs. So when I execute this, we'll see that it's gonna run and we're gonna get UV installed ready for us to use. In this example, we're gonna use the Docker task runner where it's already pre-installed. Now to use UV, we can simply just put UV before our pip install here, where we're using pandas, and we're gonna explicitly say to install it on the system because where we've got it in the Docker container, we don't need a virtual environment. Now, if I execute this, we can actually see that this is gonna be really quite quick. We can see that once the Docker image is created, we can see that it's able to install and successfully use UV very, very quickly. And we can actually see it produces an output as we expected. If I run the same command now without UV, we'll see that it's gonna take a little bit longer. So as we can see here, UV was quite a bit quicker at nearly nine seconds, whereas using pip was about 13 and a half seconds. So there is definitely some performance improvements to be gained by using UV. Now the thing about UV is it isn't just about performance gains. The thing I always find frustrating with Python is having to build virtual environments, being able to manage all the dependencies, and hopefully UV should make that a little bit easier. Now here, what we've got here is we want to install UV. Now here we're gonna use our process task runner again. This should help us compare performance because we are not spinning up a container. Now we're gonna install UV to begin with and then use UV to create a virtual environment. Once we've done that, we can then immediately start installing our requirements and UV will know to install it to the virtual environment in this directory. Afterwards, we'll then activate our virtual environment so that our code can run. So let's run this and see how this works and then we'll run it again with pip to see how it compares and if it's a little bit easier. As you can see here, it only took 1.7 seconds to be able to run this task. As you can see, it installed the requirements and it was able to get going. I've now changed this now to use a typical Python virtual environment and then install the dependencies to it. Let's see how long this takes to set up in comparison. So there's some interesting data there. The first time I ran it with UV, it took 12 seconds, but afterwards it was able to set up a lot quicker and it only took under two seconds. When I used the more traditional way of doing it using pip in a virtual environment, it took 17 seconds, and then the second time it took just under 10 seconds. So there's definitely some performance improvements to be seen with UV, and uh, it's interesting to see. However, it's not perfect. For example, in this context, I need to install UV first before I can use it. So definitely not a perfect solution. But I do like how it manages the virtual environment for me, and anytime I install any dependencies, it knows to automatically install it to the virtual environment in that directory just makes things a little bit easier. Now, if you are planning to use Kestra with UV, then something you can do is instead of installing UV every single time, you can actually create a custom Docker image that's gonna use the Kestra image, but then you can install UV so that when you then define the image that Kestra should use in the Docker Compose file, you're gonna use your Docker file rather than using the Kestra image from Docker Hub. This means that you'll have UV pre-installed for all of your workflows that are using the process task runner. If you're using the Docker task runner, then either use our default image or make sure the container image you're using has it pre-baked in too to help speed things up. UV definitely looks like a promising tool. So I'm curious to know if you're using it already or if you're planning to use it in the future. Let me know in the comments below why you should use UV over something like poetry or something like pip. I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are.